Hi, this is a preview of our two-day granary sale on the 8th and 9th of May and we're here just on the last day of setting up so they're just tidying everything up now uh, and as usual there's a room full of three floors full of items so much nearly 2,000 lots in next week's sale um, we've just been having a quick look round to see what's here and there's certainly a huge amount and some really interesting mixed lots of items this time so we'll just have a quick look round together uh, there's this um, probably Victorian or Edwardian case here which is a very good quality brass bound leather case um, it just needs a bit of TLC this one um, but it's actually for gun cartridges so this would have been filled with um, shotgun cartridges when it was new but it just needs the leather sort of polishing up and the brass mounts that's a good quality piece of luggage there and what's that going to be a hundred or so I suppose the estimate something like that um, here's one of the first sort of mixed lots that uh, we have so they're all things that we're selling as one group here completely unrelated but just all interesting this is a an antique tobacco box that's made of lead so it's a really heavy cast lead item that and probably probably 19th century or might be 18th century there's a brass air raid precautions bell ARP there's a spelter monkey which was a lighter <laughs> and very pretty um, brass door lock uh, escutcheon Pretty ornate, isn't it? A couple of brass wall lights as well. So that's all going to be one lot there. Just interesting group. Um, it's probably going to make 60, 80, 100 pounds, something like that. Um, a few items here on the table, which are the first things in the sale. So you've got a Victorian um, set of decanters in, a, in an oak and silver plate case there. Little Tantalus, that's nice, isn't it? So, servant's bell unit, they're always popular things, probably 50 or 60 pounds. Very good quality uh, scientific instrument here, and I think it's a telegraph, but <laughs> I'm not altogether sure. That's that's going to be date to about 1900, but fantastic quality. An enormous great hand bell there. This is nice, it's a sort of late 19th century bronze mantel clock with a, an onyx dial little chiming clock that's a nice one there should be a hundred to 150 or so um more box folds of items here i mean for an example if you look at this that's one box full of lighters must be a thousand lighters in there all, all being sold as one lot I don't know if there's anything any good in there at all, but it's a bit of a potluck lot. But it just shows you there's loads of boxes like that in this sale. And the estimate, well, whatever it makes, 60, 80, 100 pounds, something like that. Um, little collections of tribal items in here. Boomerang, Malay, uh, a cookery knife, daggers and all sorts there. These are very nice... Um, carved and painted wood um, table lamps here. A little collection of toy sewing machines on the top there. Another little group lot. Uh, Jimmy Choo handbag that looks absolutely brand new. That's your bag. <laughs> uh, what else we got? The main things that have struck me this time are boxfuls of things like boxfuls of die cast toys and cars and trains, boxful of antique fishing reels, boxful of car mascots, and in the cabinet here, more boxfuls of items, and masses of things like all uh, collection of Acme whistles in there, and there's a bosun's whistle. Lots and lots of fountain pens, all being sold in groups. People love these vintage fountain pens. Must be 
60 pen knives in one lot there, I should think. And medals, and then there's more. More whistles, and pens, and clock keys. And more pens, look at that. More propelling pencils in there. There must be 150 pencils in one lot there. And corkscrews. So many things. Enough, enough gin and whiskey to bathe in, <laughs> if you fancy that. Uh, what else? The whole collection of um, opera glasses and binoculars. Must be 20 or 30 pairs of binoculars in one lot there. <laughs> so on day one, on the Wednesday sale, we have over a thousand lots of small items. So that includes the, ch the metalware and all the china and silver plate and pictures. So it goes to over a thousand lots. And then day two is the furniture, which is downstairs, which is again, huge amounts of um, furniture downstairs as usual. And in the cabinets here, again, collections of things, more pens and lighters and vintage watches. Ceramics here as well. Some Wade. Look at these Wade. Uh, I was going to say Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> it's a Lady of the Tram, isn't it? Oh, here's Snow White. <laughs> a very stylish um, Eric Revillius plate there. And lots and lots of china on the tables as well. So several hundred lots of china in this sale. Um, so we'll just pause there and we'll just go and have a look downstairs at some of the furniture that's on show and we'll carry on down there. So day two, the Thursday section, is all the furniture. So we've got a room full of furniture here to sell from um, 10 o'clock on the Thursday morning. The, and in the basement as well, as usual, that's absolutely full of furniture. And here, just inside the door, is a um, horse or pony wagon which is quite usable condition um, at the moment covered with concrete garden ornaments and grotesque African carvings but that's it, make a nice um, ornamental cart there for the garden and that's probably going to be two or three hundred pounds something like that uh, quite a lot of Urkel retro furniture this time. It's the nice paler colour Elm Urkel. So there's that coffee table there. A couple of sideboards. I'm sure it's popular things. It's lovely little bike there. An Electra, which looks absolutely unused. I don't think it's ever been out on the road. Very nice um, French um, mahogany tall chest of drawers there, it's a particularly good quality. Then it just needs a good polish, that one. A very early um, blanket chest here. Look at the top of this. It's real antique um, cracks in the top there. But look at the front of it, this carving is completely original. Um, might even be 16th century. Um, this blanket chest. It's actually a particularly early um, plank constructed blanket chest. So I would think the late 1500s, early 1600s in date and estimate probably something over 500 or so for that one. And from the same house as this um, antique credence table. And again it's a very early thick solid plank top. It's had some repairs over the, t over the years. That's a, a nice thing there. 
go to the retro again, more Urkel. And over there is another piece of Urkel, which is, uh, they call these giraffe um, units. Quite fashionable things. That should be um, three or four hundred pounds, I suppose. Another one there, a cocktail cabinet. And this is a uh, this is rosewood, this is Scandinavian um, retro furniture and with retro, with uh, well with any rosewood furniture, first of all it's an endangered species so it has to be pre-1947 to be allowed to sell it, um, so if it's after 1947 you have to obtain a permit to sell it. So we have the permit for this one from CITES to make sure that it's legal, so we have the, the documentation to go with that. stylish um, painted coffee table there behind you as well. That's a good looking piece of furniture. Nice looking um, eight day mahogany long case clock there. They seem to be uh, a bargain at the moment, anything like that. Chinese elm cabinet, it's in nice condition, probably going to be around 200 or something like that. And around the back, hundreds more lots of furniture around there, but the best way to view it really is to go online. It's all photographed, you can browse through it online and you can set it so that you can just view the photos as just a uh, a page of icons so if you change the way you view the listing on our website you can change it to just the photographic icon so it's much easier to scan through it please ask uh, or email us if you can't find the way to change that setting but if you speak to any of our staff they'll tell you how to view it but it's a much nicer way of viewing so the actual viewing for this sale is on Saturday from 9 till 1 then we actually closed Monday because it's bank holiday so we're not here at all Monday we're here Tuesday from 9 till 7 and we start the sale on Wednesday at 9 in the morning so we'll be here from 8 for viewing and then on the Thursday for the furniture section we're here from 9 and the sale starts at 10. So please have a look through the website, see what you can find and hope you can find something interesting. Thank you.